Welcome back to Fashion Attack. Today, we are doing a super cool IKEA hack and we also have an illegal and abusive assistant. Aww. Say hi, Liam. Say ciao. 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 Okay, what we're gonna do today is transform this very normal IKEA um, TV shop, I would say. You can buy the man one, you can buy this one, whatever it is, it's gonna work in the same way. And we're gonna transform it into this one. I found it on Pinterest, we loved it, and I decided to make it for my friend, who's not coming in the camera. Oh, we have a kid. I'm not even sure that this should be called IKEA hack. Maybe it's an everything hack. All you need is a TV shelf, a closet. It's gonna work in the same way. If you're buying it for the purpose of the tutorial, just don't build it. If you have it already and you wanna transform it, just unscrew everything out. What we're doing now is gonna be sanding the entire surface of our drawers so that after that we can paint it and glue all the textures on top of it. Three, do it. Uno, finish. What you want to take off is the protection layer that is on top of every IKEA piece of furniture and then you just clean away the dust that you created. So to be sure to paint it right. Great, at this point we pass to the typical math moment of the project. You have to measure your uh, doors and then you have to calculate how many lines you want to put it on top of them. I decided to put eight. You divide it for the width of your shelf and there you go. You have the amount of space that you need to leave between one piece of wood and the other one. I'll tell you already now that I did a mistake. I used transparent silicone, but I would absolutely recommend using a white one. Yes, you see it more if you do a mess. But the white silicone absorbs the paint way better. So do that. Oh, what did I forget to talk about? So, I forgot to say that first of all, I do not have my jigsaw with me, so I simply asked the wood store to cut them for me. If you want, you can cut them at home. You can buy these things made as long sticks and then cut them. The measurements that I did was the height of my dresser, minus 10 centimeters, so that I could put one on the top and one on the bottom and have this, this level super cool texture thingy. Yep. Do you see? Having the pieces of wood that are shorter than the height of your TV shelf creates this texture, adding one on the top and one on the bottom that is absolutely fantastic. So do not buy them of the same height of your TV shelf, get them shorter and alternate one on the top and one on the bottom. And while our assistant is enjoying his ice cream break, we are gonna go and pass some primer. No matter what color you wanna pass on top of your drawers, it's very important to pass primer, especially because the two surfaces are not the same and we want this to come as smooth as possible. As you can see, I'm using two different kind of brushes and there is a reason. The brush is helping me to go inside the little corners in between the smoothness of the drawer and the volume of the piece of wood. While instead the roller helps me put it all flat and nice on the wood so that we do not have any um, brush marks and bubbles. We want it as smooth as possible. I'm gonna do the same thing with the primer and also with the color. And yes, I had to do this three times because my closet was black and before I could cover it completely. I had to give a lot of layers. So we are finally done with the TV stand and I have to say it turned out way better than I thought. It looks super professional and I do not have a lot of things that I would have done differently this time. So first subscribe and I'm gonna tell you just two tips of things you can do in a different way. Step number one is the silicone. I used a transparent one that does not absorb the paint. So I would recommend you to use a white one because that one, even if you make a little mistake, you can cover it with paint over it again and it will look perfect. For example, here on the corner, you can see I filled it up only with paint and sometimes you can see this teeny tiny holes. But if you use a white silicone, you can press it inside with your finger covering it with soap. It will come perfect and then paint on top of it. Number two is the legs. Um, I decided to finish it uh, at the height of the legs, so I left black legs. But if you look at the original, here is a picture, you can see that the legs go all the way to the bottom. And you can totally do that. You just have to cut the little pieces of the same height of your legs, stick it at the same proportion of where your design finishes, so that you can continue the drawing to the floor. And maybe paint also your leg in yellow and the piece of wood in yellow, and it would look just exactly like that one. And now, let's go and to get